Hey guys, my name is Spoos. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the current state of Lost Ark. So with the announcement that we're not going to get the Stronghold buff at 1460, um, a lot of players are understandably upset. And it made me think about the last time that Lost Ark faced a scandal like this. So Argos was released on March 10th and it came with a ton of controversy. So the way that dungeons work is that you need to have a specific item level in order to gain access to a raid. For example, for Argos you need a 1370 item level to get access to the raid. So the way to increase your item level is that you need materials and gold to hone your weapons for a chance for a level up. Gold plays a big part of it and we're going to discuss why that's important later. But just remember that it takes materials and gold in order to increase your item level. So materials can be earned through dailies, things like your Chaos Gate, uh, your Guardian Raids, there are also at special events and certain vendors for PvP and other things like that which you can obtain materials from. Most of the materials that you obtain from these dailies and these vendors, you can also sell them in in-game auction houses called the market. So if you do your dailies, you have a choice between using your materials for a chance to level up or to sell them for gold to other players willing to buy them. This is where the pay to win aspect of Lost Ark Trinity comes from. You can use real money to buy materials off the market and the way that you do that is through royal crystals. So you purchase royal crystals with real money, then you take those royal crystals into the currency exchange tab and change them into gold. Then you can use that gold to buy the materials off the marketplace that we mentioned before. And this is the main reason why people say that Lost Ark is pay to win because you can put money into the game to progress your characters further and gain advantage over other players. Now that we understand the main concept, we're going to talk about FOMO. So FOMO stands for the fear of missing out. And the fear of missing out is generally what people do in order to make rational people make irrational decisions. This is why you see a lot of advertisements say, oh, with limited time sale, they're trying to create a sense of fear that you're going to miss out on something when they say it's a limited time sale. So by telling you that you might miss out on something, you might be willing to spend money now because you never know when the next deal is going to come around. Basically, this is a sales tactics to make people spend more than they normally would. So where does FOMO come into this whole system? Well in order to understand where FOMO comes in, we're going to talk about the early days of the Lost Ark. So when tier 3 launched, there weren't that many players in tier 3. That meant that there were fewer people able to do dailies in tier 3. That meant that there was a very low supply of materials in the market and there was a large demand for materials in the market because you needed a lot of materials to get from 1340 to 1370. Once everyone saw that you could make a ton of money by selling your materials, people stopped pushing past 1340 and just began selling their materials for gold. So as time went on, more and more people got to 1340 and began selling their materials. Eventually there was a ton of materials in the market and at the same time, demand began to die out because once people reached 1370, you couldn't hone past the item level 1370 without the Argo set. So they didn't need materials anymore. While the supply of materials skyrocketed, the demand for them also dropped to the ground and eventually the prices of all the materials just started to fall. It's simple economics. And here is where FOMO began to happen. People started to feel that they needed to push to the latest content because the later that they got into the content, the less gold they could earn from their materials and the harder it would be to level up their characters because the gold supply was so small. So let's talk about your actual gold income. So one of the ways that players can earn gold is by doing Abyssal Dungeons. So from running your normal mode Aria's Oculus, you get 600 gold. For running your normal mode Oreca Perversa, you get 900 gold. I will concede that there are other ways of earning gold. There are gold islands, there are welcome challenges, collectible rewards but most players especially new players won't know where to get that gold or how to get it so now we're going to talk about why gold is so important and the problem with 1340 to 1370 so there's a really good tool on max roll that allows you to calculate the average scenario how much materials and gold you're going to need in order to get your weapon or armor to a certain level and in these scenarios we're going to take our weapon and our armor in the average scenarios and see how much gold is going to cost us to push from the item level 1340 to 1370 and after the calculations are run it comes out to about 6820 gold and that's if you have average luck 
if you are extremely unlucky it's gonna be more but remember because the level ups aren't guaranteed it's gonna depend a lot on how lucky you are how many materials you use on how much gold you actually spend to get your character from 1340 to 1370. I just want to point out these numbers so you can understand how big the gap is between 1370 and 1340. So if on average you're earning about 1500 gold and you need 6,800 gold to progress your character, you're gonna be stuck in tier three for about four and a half weeks. And the problem with being stuck is that the longer it takes you to get to 1370, the less materials you're gonna be able to earn from your materials at that point, causing people to fear that they're missing out if they don't get to 1370 as soon as possible. The other issue is, is that being at 1340 is probably the worst point in the game because there's literally nothing to do. It's hands down the worst part of the entire game. We're gonna get into why this dead zone between 1340 and 1370 is so terrible. And the main reason is that there's no content. There's literally nothing to do from 1100, which is where tier three starts, to 1370. In tier one and tier two, we had islands, and these islands were made so people could progress faster through tier one and tier two through the dead zones to reach the end game. There's no islands in tier three. So in addition to not having islands in tier three, there's also no ghost ships. And what ghost ships are is basically it's an event that happens once a week and you can earn materials for your character. But there's no ghost ship until after 1370. The other ghost ship that you can do under 1370 is at 960, which means that you will earn tier two materials and you can't use tier two materials in tier three. So there's no reason to do the 960 ghost ship once you're past tier two. There's no field boss in tier three until you reach 1370 and above there are no islands, there's nothing to do in tier three. The only thing that tier three has is a 1302 chaos gate. So you're literally doing armored Necrosena or Ingrexion for weeks, the same guardian over and over again, and that's it. This is why people call it the dead zone, and I think it, it shouldn't be called the dead zone. I think to just simply state it as it is, it's just a bad part of the game. It is the most boring section of Lost Ark. So what did they do to try to fix the dead zone? With Argos, they gave us Naruni Racing. And the Naruni Racing event was fun, it was cute, and the rewards you got from doing Naruni Racing was very generous. You got a lot of materials and honing things from the Naruni racing event. The problem is that the number one thing that people really needed to push the character was gold. There was no way to really sustainably earn it and reach the amount that you needed to fit the average scenario. So what happened next was actually very interesting. What would happen if you tried to fix the problem by just pumping extra materials into the system rather than fixing the actual problem, which is the dead zone? What do you think most people did? Most people sold their materials to earn gold. And the reason is very simple. Well, you had to choose between rolling your materials and the gold that you had currently, and there's a chance that you get to 1370, or there was a very real chance that you would run out of gold and materials trying to get to 1370 and just be stuck at doing the 1340 boss for one or two more weeks. Okay, the problem was even further compounded because of FOMO, because people realized that the price of materials was high now because our was just released and they realized that if they sold their materials now they could earn a, a decent amount of gold the longer that they waited to sell their gold if they pushed and had to wait longer so they could sell their materials they would eventually have to sell it at a fraction of the price that they would if they were getting it now if you could sell all your materials for about 8,000 gold every week in a couple of weeks it would get down to about thousand or maybe two thousand gold for the same amount of materials so Amazon Smilegate added this event to try to put more materials into the hands of players, hoping that the players would use the materials to push the characters to 1370 and start enjoying the endgame content. But in reality, what a lot of people did was that they sold all their materials and the people who were ahead got further ahead and the people who were stuck in 1340 had to just sit there and watch all these whales enjoy the content that they wanted to do. So it's bad enough that you had to watch people enjoy the content that you want to do, it gets even worse. The disparity between the 1340 and the 1370 people when Argos dropped, 
got even worse because the people at 1370 got access to legendary accessories and legendary accessories gives you the chance of getting a plus three class engraving and a plus three combat engraving and basically what that allowed you to do is you get more engravings for your character so people who had access to these accessories were stronger and actually enjoying their classes more than the 1340 people who couldn't get those accessories. In addition to having a better feeling class and having more engravings, these accessories were worth a ton of money if you got them early on. These accessories were going for hundreds of thousands of gold. So if you were paying to advance, it felt like you were advancing even further now. People who paid for the advantage were now getting an even further advantage from having paid to win. So if you were a free to play player, it felt even worse being a free to play player. So what happened was that the average player felt that they needed to put money into the game in order to enjoy it. That the game was going to be designed like this. And if you didn't want to put money into the game, you would have to make 6 alts, play 16 hours a day, and then you would be able to gain access into Argos. You were literally playing the worst part of the game unless you were willing to pay to reach better raids and actually enjoy your class with proper engravings and do actual end game content. That was the situation. A lot of the animosity came from that divide. That the people who paid to get ahead were getting further ahead. So the way that Amazon decided to fix it was that they pushed the roadmap back. They decided to give more time in between releasing raids to give players the chance to catch up. And in my opinion, it's, a, it's another band-aid fix for something that they have fixed in other servers. The crazy thing is that they've solved this problem on other servers. On the Korean servers, they've had a honing buff for every single tier. And this honing buff was to help get people through tier 1, tier 2, and the 1340 dead zone but they didn't give that to the EU and NA servers for some reason. So now we're going to the current day. We've gotten word from the devs and the community managers that we're not gonna get the stronghold buff with the release of Vicus. Even though in Korea, that's when they received it. And in Russia, that was when they also received it. This has gotten a ton of players absolutely mad because it feels like they're just trying to milk us for every dime. I think at the very least, they should give us the general honing buff because I think that's what's best for the game. Because the worst part of the game, that 1340 dead zone, as it sits right now, is only acting as a filter to make people quit. And as time goes on, the hardcore player base will begin to dwindle because they will move on to other games and the game always needs new players. The reason why I wanted to make this video is because I want Amazon to understand why people are frustrated. We're frustrated because it feels like these decisions that you've taken before, while you've said that they are helping the average player and helping us for the most part has only helped whales and giga whales it feels like the only reason why these things would not be fixed is because amazon and smilegate just want to milk the eu and any servers for everything they have and i understand that a lot of people are upset and sometimes they they communicate this poorly but the only reason why people are jumped to these terrible conclusions is because we're trying to rationalize why things are the way they are and the only people trying to rationalize this thing are the people who care enough about the game to try to understand why something is happening if we didn't care about the game we would just uninstall and go play something else but we're here and we're trying to figure out why we are here. 